All right, you guys. So I think I've finally come to the decision that I'm gonna comb out my locks. I'm doing this, I think, because one, I'm entering a new stage in life. I'm about to graduate college, um, got to go into a new job, a new career, had these locks for almost three years. Um, and I also miss the switch up. I miss having curls. I miss my curl pattern. I think combing out the ends of my locks really reminded me of how nice my curl pattern was. And um, I kind of just want that versatility back, you know? I think I'm about to start like now. Um, so if you follow me because of my locks or have subscribed to me because of my locks, I want to say thank you. And don't unsubscribe or anything because I will still be posting, you know, old photos and old content that I haven't posted yet um, about my locks. And I will also keep vlogging about my journey returning to natural. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that because at some point everybody will go through it. Um, so yeah, get ready for a first-hand look at these locks going back. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So I just combed the first one out, and here we are. Um, it's actually pretty soft. Thought it was gonna be like brittle and dry, and I haven't lost too much length, like compared to like these, you know. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I really just did this. Now I'm committed. So here we go. All right, you guys. So it's day two of combing out my locks. Just an update, so um, I did this two strand twist and this two strand twist yesterday. As you can see, shrinkage is already in full effect. And I just combed out these two locks today. Um, I'm working on my third. Things that I have learned so far. This is a key, and also I've realized that wetting my hair helps. And also going in with a rat tail comb at an angle like this. Well, that wasn't a good example. Going in with a rat tail comb at an angle helps uh, get the comb through it a little bit easier for some reason. Don't know why. I'm about to make a Walmart run after I finish this lock and get some conditioner, some olive oil, some deep conditioning packs, and whatever else I'm gonna need for once my hair is completely combed out so I can do my first wash day routine. On average, it's taking me about 30 minutes per lock. Some have been 20 minutes, some have been 40 minutes. So that's why I'm saying the average is 30. Um, but it kind of just depends on the thickness of the lock, um, how long it is. These long ones in the back have been taking me forever. Um, so I'm hoping that once I get done with the back, the front will be a little bit more easier. But we're going to see. So I'm going to keep you guys updated. And yeah, let's see how this goes. I'm just showing you guys what the inside of my lock looks like. As you guys can see, the inside of my lock is literally disgusting. It's just a bunch of matted lint and dirt that has been trapped on the inside. All right, you guys, so it is day three, and I think it's gonna be my final day. So, so far, I'm definitely way more than halfway done. Um, all these are already combed out. And I just put some deep conditioner in the last like 20 locks or so, which is the top part. And I found that um, putting deep conditioner in and letting it sit for a little bit is definitely making the process easier. So I just soaked my locks in water, saturated it with deep conditioner, and then I let it sit for a couple minutes before I start combing them out. And it's really made a difference. It's probably shaved like five minutes off each lock, which is low key a big difference when you think about five minutes per lock. So it probably saved a couple hours. I'm almost done. I'm ready to see what it's gonna look like. I just bought some hair dye and shampoo, conditioner, curling creams, combs, brushes, stuff that I haven't needed for like three years. So I'm about to start my curly hair process. But yeah, I'm about to finish combing out the rest of these locks and we're gonna see how it goes. So here we go. So just to summarize, on average, it took me about 30 minutes per lock. And don't be afraid of all this excess shedding because it's been three years, so you're going to lose a lot of hair because in a lock, it's trapped and it cannot fall out. So this is pretty average. All right, you guys, this is the final product. Well, I mean, this is like me, like right after I pumped it out. I cannot believe I just did this. Holy crap. It's so sh Oh my God. 
all right i'm about to wash and style it and hopefully that'll make me feel better because i'm in shock right now all right all right so excuse my messy hair right now but i haven't even styled my hair yet actually um i took a shower the night of and let me tell you guys that was the best shampoo i've ever had in my entire life like having the water hit your scalp after you've had locks just it hit different it was so good um but anyways i'm about to dye my hair i'm gonna dye it dark brown like my roots and then i'm gonna style it i don't know how well it's gonna go but we're gonna try it and then after i do that i will record the finished styled product so you guys can see what my hair really looks like after i've taken out the lock so let's do it so the hair dye i used was by dark and lovely in the color brown sable and i got two boxes of these all right y'all so this was the final product after three long days of combing out my locks and a whole night of styling my curls were finally back in their original state i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you have any extra questions or comments about this process please comment down below i will be doing a q a in the next coming week about the whole entire process about combing out my locks but all in all i'm satisfied with the results and i'm happy that i'm back in my natural state it was time for a switch up so thank you guys for watching i'll catch y'all later bye